Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, man, shout out to the Moji Key Talk Game members. Shout out to the newcomers of Key Talk Game. Make sure when you come in the door, you hit the like button for me. And I do appreciate y'all hitting the like button for me on Tom by anyway. So now that you've hit the like button, let's get to talking about the subject, right? It looks like Rollo is still applying pressure to Boosie. And when I say Rollo's applying pressure, I mean Buddy applying so much pressure to Boosie that Boosie either going to have to come out and make a statement and be like, hey, listen, man, I don't want to fight. It is what it is. Or Boosie going to go ahead and put on them boxing gloves. You know what I'm talking about? He probably going to have to take his diabetic medicine because we do know that Boosie, he do have diabetes. And that could be a cause on why he said that he can't fight or whatever it may be. However, Rollo ain't trying to hear none of that at all. Rollo feels absolutely disrespected based off Boosie going into the breakfast club and into the whole world, pretty much calling him a snitch and making these accusations. So Rollo, once again today, has wrote a long paragraph that I'm going to read to y'all to Boosie, pretty much telling him, Hey, listen, one-on-one, I want you to look at this paperwork with me and then go on to the world and let the world know, hey, man, listen, I was wrong. I don't think Rollo don't snitch. Or you can let me know if you still think I'm a snitch after reading my paperwork. Two, I want to fight you one-on-one. You got to, you know what I'm We got to box, whether it be with gloves, whether it be with fists, whatever it may be. We got to get our one-on-one on. That's just out of respect because I felt like you disrespecting me. Now, Rollo has the full authority to feel how he feels, especially if he didn't actually snitch once the paperwork is actually read, right? So, you know, it ain't, it ain't like he doing it wrong or bad anyways i'm gonna read to y'all exactly what rollo pretty much said right let me actually go to it let me open a screen for y'all so we can read the message that rollo had for boosie uh and what i'm gonna do is all right here it goes anyways so rollo pretty much wrote a long paragraph to boosie and he said you think you just gonna go up on me go up on me while i'm in prison can't fight for myself and when i get out i wasn't gonna say nothing Man, you crazy as hell. You got to give me a fade of some boxing match. And I ain't talking about that motherfucking haircut. You let Gus pull up. You let Gus pull up and turn you against me. Now, the reason he said he let him pull up and turn him against him is because you see this picture right here. That's Rollo. That's Webby. And that's Boosie. They was cool before he actually did that, right? So it continues and it says, but when I try to pull up and show you the paperwork, and also Boosie let other people show him the paperwork, but he won't let Rollo himself actually show his own paperwork and pretty much defend himself right but when i pull up and try to show you my paperwork you dodging me like what the hell part of the game is that bro y'all niggas be blowing me with this lane i swear this ain't about who can rap the best because boosie did say man i don't care about none of you saying you know talking about you can't rap better than me you don't got better rap skills than me i rap better than you and you ain't got no career but rollo on the other hand is like hey man listen this ain't got nothing to do with no rap career or none of that like that at all this is about my respect and talking about that i'm a snitch and you already know in the streets it's against the street code the snitch that's like one of the worst jackets that you can actually have even though maybe it's not because uh ysl woody you know talking about is all around making a whole lot of money hundred thousands of dollars getting booked in clubs all type of stuff right anyway so it continues and it says this ain't about who can rap the best or who the most gangster my people just want to get to the bottom of this stuff if a gut around you and they ain't telling you to do the right thing then you need to kick them off from around you i'm gonna delete everything i said off my page for the people but the conversation is needed fam so he's leaving the door open for boosie to pretty much come on with it and go ahead and and have some type of level of conversation with him so therefore they can get to the bottom of whatever was said now if y'all don't remember what was said boosie came out and said a whole lot of like he was really going off based off what he said so i i'll actually play y'all a video that i did when boosie spoke on it so y'all can actually hear right Anyway, so I'm going to go to one of my previous videos that I made around the time where Boosie was coming out speaking on Rollo, just so y'all can have an idea on what Boosie was actually saying that got Rollo just so upset and pissed off, right? So here goes that video. Been straight with money before me, you met me, has nothing to Twitter said. You been straight with money before me, you met me, has nothing to do with what you have done. Every real street nigga know what's up. Like I told you in our text, you can run that on someone else, laugh out loud, and you don't want to let nigga cooperate when all your niggas being solid. 
Man, you know. Boosie also doubled back with another message and said, You know what you did, g It's eating you up inside, shake my head. It's never gonna leave you, g The real know you're a rat. It's official. Take your lick and tell the real niggas you sorry. Like you told your co-defendant you were sorry. What you think Scuba say about what you doing, g Ask yourself that question. Man. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, Boosie was going extremely hard on Rallo whenever he felt as if Rallo snitched, and maybe he still does feel like he snitched. Maybe it's nothing that Rallo can actually say uh, that'll deter Boosie from thinking that Rallo actually snitched, right? Anyways, now in other news, some groundbreaking news actually. So, y'all remember when I reported on that the U.S. had somehow, some way, uh, took taking the uh the airplane from the venezuelan president right the u.s literally took venezuela's president airplane i wonder why he took it and stuff like that well now it turns out that venezuela has arrested a american uh u.s navy sailor that was in their country now a lot of people is thinking okay this definitely is some type of retaliation for that uh but who knows if it is or if it isn't but before i even read about that because we're going to read about you know why they actually take that navy sailor and arrest him in venezuela but before I actually read about that, let's actually get back into um, let's go back into the comment section because I did not read the comment section like I normally do, which, you know, we got to see what the comment section talk about. Right. So as far as the Boosie and Rallo situation, if we take a dive into the comment section to see what y'all feel about this, uh, the first comment says Boosie spoke on cubs without even checking the facts. And that's supposed to be your dog. But you jump ship on the Internet before even confirming it with him. First, then bro get out of jail standing on behind his name and Boosie want to make this about music now. Like Rallo picking on him because you call him a rat while he was locked up and can't even be a man about it and say I fucked up. I apologize for that. And I've been listening to Boosie since a youngin. That's not gangster at all, especially calling it a rat. And I don't know that. Facts. Okay. And someone did respond to that. Let's see. Oh, well, everybody's saying facts with a honey mark. Nobody disagreed with that. Okay. The next person says, I feel Rallo fam goon. Don't speak on it if you're not going to stand on that stuff. I'm all I'm all for exposing the nigga when he down bad, but it got to be black and white or video or where we can hear him and see. Other than that, Boosie should have just shut up, fall back, and get all the facts together. But Boosie faking, picking, and choosing. Because when he was asked about QCP, he called Pussy. That boy faking and ain't a thousand actually told p actually told and it's in black and white about a murder so make it make sense torrance hatchet the next person said boosie got diabetes he can't fight in which the next person said his young was will though uh the next person said the song is fired that's actually goyeo's Go uh new song um Y'all should definitely go check it out. He actually just dropped. He didn't drop a video for it, but he did drop the actual song uh, for it. So go check that out. Uh, and then, of course, the next comment says, Boost your internet rapper. Now he too far gone. He ain't fighting. Shake my head. Knock it off. Do Rallo realize Boosie ain't doing no fighting with a laughing emoji? That mean Boosie ain't doing no fighting. Boosie about to come clapping and shooting him. Talking about, uh, next person said solid. The next person said, hell yeah, you speaking on it. It's only right that or go to war like Rallo said. It ain't just anything Boosie said. He literally tried to assassinate his whole character. Um, what do I think about that? I do feel like people is... Uh, definitely bringing up some valid points about the whole Boosie situation. Uh, and that Boosie definitely, I mean, he might, at least if you don't fight because of diabetes, at least you should go look at the paperwork because I mean, or, or reevaluate it to see if you still believe that he's a snitch. I mean, but I'm trying to think like, what did the other people with paperwork show Boosie that made Boosie believe that he was a snitch rather than if that 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 he couldn't just re-show the Rallo and be like, look, I already saw this part right here. This that's what Boosie could actually do. Boosie, instead of even meeting with him or whatever, he can just say, Hey, listen, I somebody showed me this part of the paperwork and this part of the paperwork showed me that you're a snitch. So I don't rock with you. I don't want to have no conversation, no meet up, link up, none of that at all. I think you're a snitch. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, now we gotta figure out why in the blue hell did the venezuelan government you know talking about detain a u.s sailor days after the u.s actually took um days after the u.s took venezuela's plane now i think i know why but let's just read a little bit and see if we can figure it out why right it says a u.s navy sailor has been detained in venezuela after traveling their unauthorized or personal business uh oh so he was detained uh there on a uh traveling there unauthorized or 
on personal business. Okay, why can't he go there on personal business? I don't know. The Pentagon said Wednesday the enlisted sailor was detained last week by Venezuela law enforcement. Two defense officials said, well, maybe they thought that he was a spy. It is a whole lot of spying going on. I'm talking about if somebody was in the America and they were part of another military and they were here on unauthorized business, then we would probably think they're a spy as well, right? But who knows? Either way it goes, they done got their get back and then we got to get our get back, right? So it continues and it says, one of the officials said the sailor has been in Venezuela custody since on about uh, August the 30th. The U.S. Navy is looking into this and working closely with the State Department, the Pentagon said in a statement. The official who spoke on the condition of the anonymity uh, to provide details not made public referred to the State Department for an update on the sailor status. One of the officials said that the service member has neither on was neither on official travel nor did they have authorization to leave uh, to visit Venezuela. On Wednesday, spokesman Matt Miller said that the State Department was monitoring the situation but did not comment further. The detention follows a similar disappearance earlier this year when a U.S. Army soldier was arrested after traveling to Russia to visit his girlfriend. Okay, that's like two ops. So Venezuela is technically our op. And Russia is technically our op right now. And one of our people got arrested in Russia. I wonder if they actually took that, got that guy back from Russia. I'm pretty sure they did, right? Uh, it says Staff Sergeant Gordon Black, 34, is still in Russia and was sentenced. Oh, never mind. And was sentenced in June to three years and nine months in prison after his girlfriend accused him of stealing from her. Wow. Okay. Uh, Black remains on an active duty member of the U.S. Army, but was placed in confined civil civilian authority status in May, which is a non-pay status. The Army said in a statement to the AP up, but they probably ain't gonna get buddy now. Then I mean, he ain't even technically he's in the military, but he ain't considered an actual military man like that, right? It says last week the attorney uh, for Travis King, another army private who fled to North Korea last year, said that King will plead guilty to dissertation and four other charges and take responsibility for his conduct. King will be given an opportunity at a September 20th uh, hearing at Fort Bliss, Texas, to discuss his actions. All right, so we don't read about it, right? Uh, we nobody knows exactly why. In the blue hell, the military man has actually been taken, uh, but he definitely has been taken and he is in the custody right now of Venezuela. <laughs> we know we beefed up with Venezuela right now because a whole lot of the Venezuela migrants is, is flooding inside of the U.S. Um, there are rumors of, 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 of gang activity and crimes because they're saying that a lot of their criminals came over here. Uh, some people believe it. Some people say that it's just mumbo jumbo. Even though the mayor of Aurora actually did come out and say, hey, listen, they are actually taking over buildings, no matter what they say on the outside world. But, hey, man, listen, we got a two-party system. It's always going to be some that believe and some that don't believe. It's all about whether you can see the truth with your own eyes and what do you actually believe, right? Anyways, now, there's more details coming about any of this stuff, especially with the side of hip-hop and Boosie Double Back. It's, hey, man, listen, man, you really want this fade? I'm going to go ahead and give you this fade. Just, you know what I'm talking about? Let me know something. You know what I'm talking about? Where you want to meet at? Or I'll tell you where to meet at and let's do it. We'll see. Maybe that'll happen. Or maybe Boosie will just read the paperwork and say, OK, you know what? I'm going to read over the paperwork and I'm going to make my decision then, right? If you're a snitch or if you're not a snitch. Anyways, it's, it's funny, though, because they're arguing over who's snitching and who's not. Why is that Woody is balling, making money, doing club appearances, all this stuff, going to the stand by day and out partying in a club by night, right? Anyways, let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.